Good morning, Eagles. I'm your host, Audrey Neal. Happy Finals Week. Today we have a C-Day schedule. Tomorrow we go to all of our classes before lunch, and first period finals are after lunch. Wednesday are finals for even classes, and odds are on Thursday. Finally, Friday is a makeup day if you missed any finals. Here are how some students do finals week. Finals start tomorrow, but there are ways you can quickly study. I make my own Quizlets, um, and I use those to kind of help me remember, uh, but otherwise, I just look through my textbooks and the notes that I've taken in class. If you did struggle studying this year, here's some advice to help for next semester. I mean, the best thing is just organize your time well, because you're taking, for freshmen especially, like seven finals perhaps in a three-day period. So just organize your time really well. If a teacher is going to give you two weeks uh, ahead of time some notice on what the final is going to be about, start doing that those two weeks, like two weeks before the final. Because if you wait for the last second, you're going to have seven finals to cram for, and you're going to feel behind the entire week. Don't wait to study until the last two days, because it'll be really stressful. Get in touch with your teachers there. Uh, they always want to help you. This week may be stressful, but just remember it's the last week before winter break. Good luck, Eagles. Not much is happening during the week, but things start picking back up on Friday. Both boys and girls varsity basketball teams have games at 7 p.m. The boys play at Atrisco Heritage and the girls play at home against Rio Grande. Varsity Wrestling also has a tournament on Friday at Sandia. Times are still to be determined. The Key Club is helping with gifts for Silver Horizons. Silver Horizons is a program that helps grandparents raising grandchildren. We have 40 gift tags in Miss Robinson's classroom, Humanities 325, if students or teachers would like to pick some up. Each tag has a need for either a grandparent or a grandchild for students and teachers to purchase clothes for those who would otherwise go without this holiday season. If you are interested, please stop by H325. This time can be very overwhelming for people, but now here's a representative from Peer to Peer brought to you by Samantha Benji. So um, what is Peer to Peer? Peer to Peer is a student-led like mental health um, organization basically. All of us are just peers who are there to help. People come talk to us and we'll get them to a counselor. Um, or we'll just be there as someone who can listen. Overall, just we put things together in order for people to care about mental health, to help focus on the students' mental health, and help get things out of academics as well as like their own just personal well-being. And um, how can people join or reach out at Peer-to-Peer? -peer? So joining, um, you'll have to get no uh, nominated either by a Peer-to-Peer -peer leader or by some of your peers. Miss Tommy and Miss McDaniels lead it. Um, but in order to find us, just look for us. We have, on all of our backpacks, we have a little lifesaver pin. And on Mondays, we'll wear our hoodies. Uh, throughout the week, we wear our hoodies. Um, we meet on Wednesdays. But in order, like, just keep an eye out in your class. See who in your class has those pins or wears those hoodies, and you'll be able to find us and just be like, hey, I need to talk, and we'll be able to help you out. OK, so you guys meet on Wednesdays, uh, but where do you guys meet and when, like, Wednesday? Uh, it usually depends. We meet at lunch on Wednesdays. Uh, usually we'll meet in the lecture hall, but we're starting to meet in the upstairs part of the library now because that's where our peer-to-peer -peer room is. Um, but it'll change. It's usually between those two places, um, probably more the library now. That's what it seems like it's going to be. All right, cool, and that's all I needed. Cool, perfect, thank you. <laughs> to end this week, here's our weather with Sophia Hale. Hi, welcome to Thunder and Hail. I'm Sophia Hale. Let's go look at this week's weather. Thunder and Hail with Sophia Hale. Today we're seeing a high of 56 degrees and 34 degrees is our low. We're going to be seeing some light winds, a bit of sunshine, and it's going to be kind of a cold night. So this week we're going to be seeing a high of from about 55 to 60 degrees is our high, and about mid to late 30s is our low. Tuesday's our warmest day, although it's going to be a little bit more windy than Monday, so just be a little bit prepared for that. There is an 18% chance of rain, although it's not very high. Maybe get excited. It's going to be pretty cloudy both Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday is going to be our coldest day, so make sure to bundle up for that. There's going to be a lot of sunshine, but it's still going to be super cold. Thursday and Friday are about the same. 
we're gonna be seeing a high of 58.30 and a high of 56.31 for Thursday and Friday. Wednesday is gonna have a 24% chance of rain, which is pretty high considering that we are in New Mexico. So get excited for that. That's pretty much all for this week. Good luck on finals and I will see you after the break. Thanks for watching Eagles and good luck on your finals. We'll see you next year.